Hi, welcome back to my channel. And I wanted to uh, share a couple of things with you. If you're like me and uh, wanted to build your own CNC machine, I wanted to share a couple of things that may end up being an issue if you don't do it correctly. Uh, one of them is that uh, if you don't use shielded wire on your wiring, it, it will be a problem because on the stepper motors, they do uh, create interference between uh, each other and other things. And uh, so you're gonna wanna use shielded wire. It's not that much more expensive and uh, it'll save you a lot of trouble. Another one is grounding. You're gonna have to ground each one of those motors. Um, they're gonna have to be grounded and if they're not, they'll move. Like uh, I grounded mine, but in the, initially, uh, there was a connection that was missing and I didn't realize it. And it, it was a problem for a while bef uh, before I figured out what it was. I thought, well, it's grounded. What, what would be the problem? But it was not connected. And the minute I connected it, it solved the problem. No more movement. It, it, was, uh, it was moving a millimeter every time it would go around and uh, every time it would cut. And so the minute I plugged it back in, it uh, solved that problem. So those are two things that I thought I would share and uh, help and add value to you in, in your uh, journey with CNC, if that's what you're doing. And I mean, and that's not even with just with a homemade one, that's with any CNC that'll help that. These issues are, are issues with everyone that use, every one of them that uses a stepper motor. And I would imagine maybe even a servo, it would be an issue. But uh, anyway, if this has added value to you, subscribe to the channel, it would help support me and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.